Camille, something tells me I've been doing a lot of leaning lately. <laughs> when I could really just come next. Look at that. Aww. I, that's where I'm just a rookie. I've only done probably, you know, thousands and thousands of video, and all I had to do was get closer to you the whole time. What the hell was I thinking about? Wow. Well, I don't smell that bad, do I? No, you smell good. Mm -hmm. Icebreakers, okay? Women, let's wake you up just a little bit right now. First off, an icebreaker doesn't mean that you are going to ask the guy out. An icebreaker doesn't mean that you are um, literally making the first move, okay, in your psychological head. You're just kind of what I call laying the flirt out there. Okay. That's what it is. It's an icebreaker. The fact is the man still needs to talk, still needs to engage you in a conversation, still needs to ask you out. You're just saying, hey, I'm available, I am open, and I'd like to meet you. So Camille, you're the flirting expert, you know, and for women. I think I am too, because I to flirt with women. Um, and I like to teach them how to flirt. Give, give the women right now some good icebreakers. Mom approved, of course, in case your mom's watching. <laughs> so I like to say, use anything that's immediately and easily relatable. So, um, I mean, that could be anything from, you know, looking around us, oh, it's a beautiful color of yellow on the wall or something like that. Because when you don't know someone and you go up to them and you say something totally random, you're going to catch them off guard a little bit, especially if they haven't seen you. And so if you try to be too clever and say, you know, uh, I don't know, something about politics or something too just obscure trying to, you know, craft. Do you think Trump's hair is real or do you think he stole it from an orangutan? There you go. Perfect right. example. You know, it's going to be a little weird. He does look like an orangutan with he, hair. He does now that you say that. Yeah, he does. Okay, yeah. so go ahead. Uh, I think for you and I, we would catch on to that. But for yes. a lot of people who aren't used to it, um, they won't really know what to do with that. So, you know, just using something like, oh, yeah, it is a beautiful day. Or, uh, oh, yeah, that's a gorgeous uh, wall color. Or, I don't know, something like that. It makes it much easier to kind of continue the conversation. And especially, like, as a woman, you know, uh, if the guy kind of startles us, we can kind of shut that down really quick. So the safer it is to engage and the more uh, relative it is to what is around, uh, the easier. Okay, give another one. Um, Man by the pool in a Speedo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so if a woman wants to engage with a guy? Well, yeah, a woman wants to engage with a guy at Whole Foods. I'm going to give you just a list of places. Give them 30 second openers right now. Go. Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Man is at the food trough, shoveling food into the brown <laughs> box. What can a woman say just to ice break it a little bit to get the man to come over and flirt a little bit more? Go. She could say, oh, I really, you know, how's that brand of kale chip? It looks, I've always wanted to try it. What do you think of it? Perfect. Okay. Man in line at Starbucks, talking Starbuckian. I'll have a triple half calf, double latte, froth, and no sugar. Um, wow, that sounds complicated. How did that end up being your drink? Perfect. Man in line at the movie theater. They're playing the movie Trolls. They're playing the movie La La Land. This is definitely a feminine man. What can a woman <laughs> say to him? Um, are you a Emma Stone fan? There you go. Emma Stone. Love Emma Stone. Okay. So a man in an elevator staring at the numbers and being afraid to talk. What can a woman say? Um, freezing outside or a beautiful day or something about the weather. Uh, you know what my elevator favorite my favorite elevator opener is this. Let me guess. We're going back to grammar school right now. We're gonna start counting to ten. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. Wait a second, what happened to thirteen? <laughs> Right, because there is no that's 13. A good one. You know, that that's is. what's so stupid. The 14th floor is the 13th floor, you fucking strange people, okay? It's like everybody knows that in a building. Okay, let's do one last one. At the gym, he's sniffing his armpits. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Don't approach when he's doing manly, weird right. things like that. At the gym, he's working out on the chest machine, about to pump his chest like this. What can you say to him there? Um, let's see. Well, you can wait till he's done and then uh, ask him to help you adjust a weight machine or something like that. Or uh, or ask him, you know, oh, how do you do that? I haven't used this one before. Manly, manly, manly. See, icebreakers, women. It starts the conversation. It gets men starting to talk. If the man has nothing to say after that, you are hanging out with a mute. Okay, so you don't want to date a mute at all. But the fact is, you have to do something because men are not approaching and all of you are trying to swipe. And if you swipe, you're not going to find love you're gonna find frustration. Mm -hmm. Anyway, where can they reach you? You can find me at masterofflinedating.com. 
and you can find me at master that subscribe below thing and go to my website it's brand new and take a look at my new picture and tell me whether or not I'm handsome in it you're always handsome thank you